Hello everyone, this is Sheetal here and today we will see the next practical that is the how order using the xylene. So today we are going to see how you can create the test bench also for this half order. So first of all we will see the programming. So see this is the half order. So we are going to perform the half adder subtractor using the Xilinx ISC uh, design 14.7 software. So for that purpose we are going to use the ISC design 14.7i. So this is the half adder. So if you have seen in this logical diagram. So you can see here we are having the two inputs and that are the two binary outputs. Okay. So we are having the two inputs that is the A and B according to that it will be generate the two output that is the sum and carry. So this is the truth table and this is the logical expression. So the logical expression so for sum is equal to A x or B and the carry is equal to A and B. So this is the truth table we are having two inputs so we can we have taken here the two inputs that is the 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 according to that it will be generate the sum that is the a x or b so already we know that the truth table of x or gate that is if the inputs are different then your output will be 1 otherwise it will be 0 so see if there is a 0 0 then it will be 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 is 0 okay and here that is the carry will be generated so the expression for carry is a and b so we are having uh, the two inputs that is the 0 0 so for and operation we are going to perform the multiplication so 0 into 0 it will be 0 0 into 1 it will be 0, 1 into 0 it will be 0 and 1 1 is equal to 0. So this is the half adder. So we are going to perform this practical on the xylings. Okay. So let's see or let's will perform it on xylings. So we'll just minimize it and we'll go to the ISC design suit 14.7. So just double click on that. Now let's see the new window will be open here. So to create any kind of file we just have to go to the file and just create the new file. So go to the new file or new project you can say. Now I am going to perform the half adder. So we will write here half underscore adder. Okay. So already have uh, create one folder that is the VLSI practical so my file will be saved in that so this is my location or if you want to say save anywhere then you can browse it and you can save your file so your top level source type should be HDL so already they have selected the HDL language you just have to check here and click on the next button now see these are the project settings so only we have to see here the preferred language either it will be Verilog or VHDL you can write this code in Verilog also and VHDL also but now we will see in the VHDL so my preferred language will be VHDL okay so according to that you have to check this uh, functions and then click on the next button then see whatever we have selected the content it will be shows in the project summary click on finish button now our file will be created here now go to the half and see this is the hierarchy click on the right click on that go to the new source and see we have already selected here the VHDL code okay so my preferred language is VHDL that why that's why my source type is VHDL model so just click on that and write down here I'll write here half underscore adder one okay so click on the next button now see if we have seen here for half adder we are having the two inputs and two outputs right so it will be gener generated sum and carry as an output and input are two so we'll uh, right here so my architectural is behavioral so first of all right we'll write here a 
this is your input b is also your input and here we'll write s that is the sum or we can write the sum which is your output and here the carry is also your output so just we have to check the direction so a and b these are the inputs so we'll have selected here as an input and go to the sum this is your output so go to the direction so we have to check it out and here carry is also the out okay so just click on the next button and then finish it okay now see here we have to write the code okay so just go in between begin and end behavioral you have to write the code so just go to the begin and see what's your expression for sum sum is equal to a or b so we can write here a less than equal to a x or b actually this is the sum so have write here sum is equal to a x or b and don't forget to write the semicolon here then click on the enter and we can write the expression for carry is equal to let's see here the expression is a and b so just write here a and b again we'll write here the semicolon so already here we have written our code now we have to check this code so just go to the synthesize x60 here we can check our code so we'll first check the syntax and then we'll go to the rtl schematic now see it will be checking so if there is an error so here it will be shows the error but the process check syntax is completed successfully that means that means uh, there is not an er uh, error in our code now go to the view rtl schematic then you can see your diagram so we'll just click on the view rtl schematic it will take some time now see in between two mode you should have to select the startup with schematic of the top level block okay just click on the okay button now see half adder we are having a and b these are your input and carry and sum these are your output so if you double click on that you will get the internal structure of these that is the sum carry so this is the half adder now we have to simulate this thing so for that we have to create one test bench okay so a uh, previous uh, practical whatever I have shown you that is the and or not get that in that purpose have not created the test bench either you can use the force clock force constant or you can create the test bench Let's go to the simulation part just click here okay and go to we have to create the test bench so already our preferred language is vhdl code okay so that's why we'll select here the vhdl test bench so you can add here the file name i will add half adder half adder underscore that is the test bench okay so click next again click on next button then finish it now we have to write the test bench right so just go below we have to comment it some sec uh, some lines so just go to to the line number 62 and you have to comment this section so for commenting you just have to click here dash dash so it will be uh, toggle as a commented okay now just go to the begin 74 to 81 you have to select these lines and you have to comment it okay so whenever you have uh, multiple lines you have to comment it then you have to just press here alt plus 
C. Okay, so these all lines will be commented here. Now, let's see, this is the begin. Here we have to write the code. So, first this line will be commented. Now, after that begin, we have to write the code. Okay, so how many we are having the input as an truth table? Only we, uh, we just have to uh, give the input according to that truth table. So, we will write here A is less than equal to 0. Okay. Then click semicolon. Now, next is our second input is B less than equal to I'll write 0 and we'll just wait for 100 seconds. Okay. So, from this line, you have to select this part. Control C. And here, we have to paste it. 1, 2. Okay. So, here we have to write the truth table according to that truth table C00. Zero, zero. Uh, according to that, you should to, it should be generate the sum and carry. So, we will write here 00, zero, zero then 01, zero, then 10, and the last one is the 11. One, one. So now let's see, we have written the test bench code here. So now first we have to go to the simulation and go to ISIM simulator. Okay. So here we have to check the behavioral check syntax. So we have to check the syntax that so I have click here, click on S and say it will be checked. If there is an error occurred, then it will be shows here. Now see there are some errors. So now see what is the error that is the line number 90, 95. Okay, so we'll check this line 90 and 95. So yeah, so uh, check here. I just forget to write the semicolon. So we'll just write semicolon and just first of all save it. Then again you can go the ISIM simulator and then check the syntax. Okay, now see this is the green color checkbox. So there is not any error. You now see we have to simulate the behavioral model, model. So just click the behavioral model and directly you can see the output. Okay, now see this is your output. So why we have written the test bench? Because whenever you are writing the test bench directly you can see all the values at a time. That is all the truth table you can verify using that. And if we using the force clock, then every time you have to write there the uh, values that is 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 like that. So just click here, zoom. Okay. Now you can check your values. Whenever your input is 0, 0, your sum is 0, carry is 0. Same like that. Whenever your input is 0, 1, then your sum is 1 and carry is 0. Now, whenever your input is 1, 0, your sum is 1, carry is 0 and whenever your output is 1, 1, 1, 1 with 0, sum and carry is 1. So, we can see here the output. So, I hope you all understand uh, the half adder and uh, how to write the test bench for half adder. 